Go. Okay, we're live again. Are we live again? Yes, yes we are. Oh, my coffee. I don't know what happened, but it happened. Sorry, guys. It looks like it's... Here we go. Okay. okay. Technical difficulties. Part two. I swear, the older the What's older I get, two? I just messaged this to somebody else. Yeah. The older I get, the more I like. Don't know how to do things. Like on TikTok, she's like, "Can you turn on your duets?" And I'm like, "What's a duet?" I have no idea what that <laughs> is. <Like. laughs> so, right. anyway, sorry about that. We got a phone call, and then the live stopped, and we didn't know. That's good because so, an important phone call. So. That's fine. So, um, good morning. Hi, we're back. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we just talked about Etsy a little bit in uh, part one. Woo! And, then, and you know, we could uh, do like a whole, I'm glad you wrote that down because we yeah. could do like a whole series. Maybe that's on next Etsy, Focus Friday. So. I know Sarah has a uh, Quick Tip Tuesday or something like that she uh, wanted to do. Or yeah, one, I'm going to do something, something. One of those. I, I kind of want to do it on, um, I need to do it on my channel. I have a channel here on YouTube. She hasn't used that channel. And I haven't really on. posted <laughs> in a while. So maybe that's something that I could like incorporate. Like, I don't know. I've got ideas. He says, good to see you back. Yeah, all right. Hey, happy to be here. I mean, we didn't really go anywhere, but, yeah. <laughs> but we, we, we uh, so, so we actually wanted to go down a couple the, more things yeah, here. Yeah, let's go to the next thing. Um, um, so we covered Etsy, new store, yeah. uh, Print Expo next month. Uh, we so wanted if you guys to don't know about it, it's talk a about that. Yeah. wide format, uh, or I think just anything graphics at Print Expo. If you guys know me, and uh sarah about making it to expos we've had some bad luck <laughs> it uh, seems like something always comes up last minute either a week before or the day before so i am gonna try or the day of or the day like of. this last time yeah so i'm gonna try really hard of course to get that print expo but i'm not gonna talk about it too much because we'll see but we want to know <laughs> if you're going yeah we definitely do. um you know our 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 kids are in school so if if there it goes. <laughs> I will try. It will be him. I'll be keeping the business running, you know, boss life over boss. here. Yeah. <laughs> like a boss. <laughs> but, so, um, and that is the 19th through the 21st. Of next month. Next month. In October. Las Vegas. So, Woo! we want to know if you're going. Uh, Rye, I don't know if you're in here. Are you going? Mike, are you uh, going? I think I, I watched Rise live this morning. I don't think Rise going. He wants to go, he said, but I don't think he's Road going. Road trip. You guys should go. Know, you I have know. to drive down that way no, anyways. I'm go, go pick him I'm up. I'm flying. I, yeah, I'm going to take a, a, a plane there, so better reason to order the flights again. I, I don't know if I used all my points on the other one. I think I... You didn't use all your all, points. Okay, so I still have points. some points. I can fly there and fly back. But hey, a little side note, okay? When you use your points, it's non-refundable. You don't get it back. So, yeah. sorry. I, but. <laughs> I actually ordered the previous trip the to the Label Expo, booked a day, and then found out that uh, uh, Blue Bee Printing was going to be there on the day after. After I told him the wrong dates because we were trying to stink up, and that's why you and adjusted so it. And I adjusted it for an inside. extra day, and I had to pay for not. Uh, I had to pay like the whole flight again, basically, to put the extra day and the hotel an extra day. And then it turns out I couldn't go anyways. You know, for, family, for good reasons. Family you know, but emergency. I'm like, oh, God, you know, I I paid double and I couldn't make it. So this one, hopefully, I can make. We're, hope, we're hoping right. to go. London Bridges says, hey, bud, I bet I'd outfish you any day. I bet you would. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. He's not a fisherman. <laughs> I, I, I have a photo with, like, me holding up a fish, and it's, like, this tall. <laughs> He's like, look what I caught I today. like fishing. I haven't been in a long time, <laughs> but the most recent time I went was a couple of years ago, honestly. Yeah. And for the You've longest time, I had fishing poles, poles in my car. There, yeah, but... like, I kept in my car, and now I got kids, yeah. and then, you know, it's like, it's more of a reason to go, actually, if you got kids. Uh, but is that so you can leave me with them yeah, yeah, or no. <laughs> are you planning yeah, on taking no, no, them no, no, with no, you? No, 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 no. The fishing poles are out of the truck, you know, but uh, I should, I should put them back in now that the kids are bigger and uh, I can go out there. It, it's fun, man. All right. So uh, next thing is, uh, uh, what is that right? The col I know you oh, the coloring book. My scribbling. Yeah. The it's coloring like a book. W, I W O L R. So speaking of why you couldn't go last yeah. time it it kind of snowballed into this cool thing and if you guys haven't seen one of the most recent videos we did um we're oh, actually we're actually uh, putting together no you got to print another one yep. our kids colored in it they were so excited so so we're doing a coloring book um yep. to donate to 
the local hospitals. For kids who are in the hospital only, yes. you know, it, it, um, able to do something versus nothing. When, when, when we were most recently there, we were really relieved to have all the things that were donated and they really made a difference. And so we came back and we're like, what can we do? We really want to make a difference. So we're donating these coloring books. We're printing them in house, but they're made um, with artwork. Supplied um, by you guys. Supplied by you guys, our our friends. We've had our full customers. books donated, cover yeah. pages, insert faithful, pages. I think it's Faithful like, Prince UK. Yeah. Oh, um, they were they were the first ones. Donated to get a us. whole coloring book. Yeah. So I mean, and and my kids saw it and they were like, "Do we get to color in that?" Yeah. And like, it's really that cool. That is what it's for. Go so, for it. When so, when you're in the hospitals and your kids are in an emergency, the last thing is like, "Oh, let me go to the house and grab something for them," right? So the fact that. People have donated to the hospitals, little dolls, little Hot Wheels, you know, blankets, mm -hmm. stuff like that that they could have. It really lit up her face when she was in a position right. to use, you know, the toys or just hold them, you know. So we're like, you know what? We have the capability to make coloring books. You guys which is, can which contribute Which is, too, part artwork. of the reason why if you were watching part one before our yeah. video cut out, we bought an iPad so that way I could try drawing out some basic coloring sheets. Um, and so anyway, so if you're interested in sending us some artwork um we would love to include it we'd love for you to have your social media handle on there or like a qr code or something like that so that we can give credit i know me as a mom um if i saw artwork that was donated and stuff like that i'd be i'd be highly likely to go means, check them out and follow you in know? the lower left or lower right we actually had a couple people remove their art their um branding from every page and we asked them to put it back on mm -hmm. and so they all did yeah and in the lower left or lower right put a qr code <laughs> put a link to your web page because it it's advertising for you there's nothing wrong with doing that on a book mm -hmm. that you know we're printing and supplying all the artwork that we get is going to be not not for sale it's just purely donation yes um, we have a couple of coloring books that she's going to start you know writing in and do that so if you guys see coloring books it's going to be her artwork it's not going to be yours yours is purely for donation right put your branding on it and the but we want to give credit right. and we've right. talked about to you that if we can get enough people to collaborate on this cool project i know we have had i've had several people who want to who want to is that show that's, okay that's show. <laughs> i gotta show the face. this is important this is the very last catch that i got and i was like you know what at least i got something because our lakes have like dried up and everything's out so uh here you go here's my massive catch <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's a little tiny, have, tiny, tiny small fish. You might have fish. to back up. Oh, oh no, you can kind of see it. <sighs> I sent it to Sarah as a and joke. How, and how long ago was that? Oh, God, I mean, you I can know. see the fit. I don't know if yeah. getting closer helps. You might have no, to pull yeah. away a little bit. But uh, yeah, anyways, <laughs> so I was like, I caught a, I caught a big one, Sarah, look at it. And I sent to that photo. And that was <laughs> taken in 2018. So yeah. that's the last time he went fishing. Yep. That's quite a while um, ago. But but anyways, we've we've had a couple people that are interested in collaborating with us on this coloring book, and they have mentioned, hey, if when you're done, if you want to put it up, I'll make a purchase, and then that helps cover the cost of all the paper and oh and yeah stuff like that. Yeah. So we're we're covering the cost of materials 100. percent We're not asking for anything all the except toner, for ink, your artwork. staples, paper, which um, is probably the most expensive part right now. Yep, and uh, and you can if so. Anyways, we're actually considering getting the. Uh, booklet maker yes. and we're reaching out to a couple of people to mm -hmm. see if we can make that work but mm -hmm. uh if that happens we'll go ahead and let you guys know who uh and where and and we've had to a couple of people texted us over the weekend um that they they work with us for reselling labels they texted us over the weekend and they said that um they can relate you know when their kid was in the hospital it was really scary and all that stuff i think it's a great thing and they're really excited for it so mike the print man says just wondering why there's no stickers going uh, with those coloring books so we do have yes uh, that is a work in I, progress as well i'm waiting for someone's designs who we really like and then we're mm -hmm. going to actually see if we can turn it into a cutting sheet so i have paper mm -hmm. on the label i was going to get a die made for it run an eight and a half by 11 mm -hmm. sheet through that uh, we don't want to give them our stickers because yeah. our stickers are permanent. So yeah. I don't want to give kids in the hospital permanent stickers and a have little, them stay Yeah, <laughs> little paper stickers that they can stick in the note, the, the booklet and stuff like that that you see often. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be good. The vinyl, though, you know, it's like... That's, that's yeah. a little bit heavier material. So, yeah. But yes, we've talked about including a sticker sheet with those coloring books. Um, you know, it just... We rely heavily on the artwork of others. Um, right. 
So if you're interested in sending us some artwork or like Mike says, he's got some ideas, hey, you know, email us your ideas. I think Derek is taking the emails at Derek at... Uh, Printshoptalk.com. Print you want to do yep. Printshoptalk? Derek at Printshoptalk.com. Print I just tripped over my words. Um, so, yes. yeah, that, that pretty much <laughs> is uh, that topic And we're going to put, we'll put that information. If it's not in the uh, video description, we'll add that in there as well. Um, but please reach out if you have any um, ideas or, or artwork that you want to submit. It's just basic 8.5 by 11 size sheets. We can even, uh, if they're smaller than that, we can even kind of adjust them to fit that size. Um, but this is something that we'd really like to have completed in the next couple of weeks so that way we can go take them and, and donate them. Um, but thank you to everybody who's submitted artwork already and people that are messaging and interested and supportive. Um, we got a huge feedback on Instagram. Yeah, that's probably it. our biggest source. Um, but yeah, message us and we'd love to collaborate with you on this fun project to give back to our community for the kiddos. Um, I know Mike says he's got a booklet maker and a super fast If we don't get a booklet printer. maker, then I'll reach out to you. Yes. Um, if, yep. you know, we're thinking of just going side staple, but uh, I'll definitely reach out to you if we go with a, you know, nice That is a work in, work in progress right now, the booklet maker. So we're, we're working on that. That might be something new that we're in progress with, so. But yeah, if you guys are interested, get in touch with us and we'd love to work with you. And the next thing on our list here is uh, resale labels. Okay, so we make labels as if, uh, you know, you guys yeah, don't know. We, 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 produce, we produce a lot of labels. <laughs> Did I you know? That we, uh, so this is our little labels. plug. Uh, so uh, we have the digital press and the nice finisher. Uh, we print high quality printed labels on two different types of material right now, paper and bop and we have a matte or a gloss laminate. Mm -hmm. um, if you go to aztechlabels.com, A-Z-T-E-C-L-A-B-E-L-S.com, we have our reseller page there. You can easily create an account and then file for tax exemption. But um, yeah, you know, we can create them at resale rates and it's extremely low. I think we start at like $50 right now. It has the uh, pricing adjustment there. There's uh, automated on uh, shipping. So it lets you know the shipping costs right up front. Um, and we don't charge any markup on the shipping. The uh, one little trick is on one of the questions where it says, is die shape in stock? After you enter the die size, you have to make sure that we have that die size in stock. If we don't, you need to select uh, order or create die shape at the very top of that drop down. And you'll see once you're there, um, the uh, video on the homepage will explain how to order a die. You don't need an account yet to see pricing. You will soon, and then it's going to be locked up uh, also for, for resellers. resellers. Uh, so if you want to kind of see the pricing, see the workflow as I'm adjusting it a little bit, go ahead and check it out right now. Mm -hmm. uh, pricing updates uh, every week. It won't be more than like 1% at a time uh, going forward, I believe, uh, just because things are starting to stabilize in the paper market uh, and label market. But uh, if you uh, want to check it out and see the pricing, like I said, we start at like fifty dollars for labels. Uh, the, it's the, the thing, thing that I'll say there. too is, if you go to look at pricing, be a little bit patient because it's going oh, through a ton good, of good point, ton of data and a ton of numbers yeah. to give you the your, lowest price. your custom stuff. There's so many little things that go into it. Is Allow, it hand placed? Does it not? Is yeah, it you know things up like to that? Thirty so, seconds. So uh, give it a chance to update. <laughs> when it's calculating the original price after you mm -hmm. switch a thing, if it still shows the little uh, you know loading symbol, give it up to thirty seconds. And mm -hmm. when adding it to cart, give it up to thirty seconds. But uh, oh, okay, that's another thing. The multiple quantities. Mm -hmm. You can get the bulk pricing. Say you want one thousand stickers, but you want five designs and it'll split up the 5,000 pieces between those designs. Um, so uh, yeah, and if you want like 50,000, you know, and you want three designs, it'll split it up and it will give you the bulk pricing. But uh, as long as they're the same size yeah. and shape. As long, yeah, same yeah. size and like shape. If, you Different can't, it doesn't work if it's a two inch circle, then you want like a three by five rectangle. It doesn't work Right, like that. right. Well, I got to take but a call here, guys. You go, you go ahead and take the call yep. really quick. Um, so with the, the Aztec labels, oh, that's really our, our wholesale resale thing for labels so you can create account with us um we do drop shipping or ship to you here's the thing though it's meant to be as automated as possible so really we need the artwork to be like ready to go 
right? I, I shouldn't have to do adjustments on my end to get your artwork ready to go. And what that means is that generally you'll be sending it sized um, to the shape that you want. So if you're ordering a two inch circle, it needs to be a two inch circle. If it needs to have a bleed, it needs to have a 0.125 bleed. Um, and then we like to do a red spot color for the dye line and that would be on its own layer layer uh, we got a customer picking up stickers we gotta go <laughs> i thought uh, they said yeah. noon i thought we had time yeah we got we got a jam on it uh their customer is like oh yeah i'm around the corner so they're saying hey can we get these like right now isn't that how so, it all works yes anyways life of a reseller if you have <laughs> more if you have any more questions about reselling or anything like that please reach out to derek directly at derek at aztechlabels.com and he will get in touch with you there um just know that with those again most automated process is to have it ready to go that we just line it up and print um we've already got a bunch of people that we um drop ship for and we've got a ton of resellers and a blind ton ship. of questions blind ship and so so bear with us as we get back to you regarding all these questions it is just him and i here in the shop there's nobody else we handle um, every we're product. yeah we handle every product he says so we are working as fast as we can to not only do all of the orders that we have but to also help the orders that are coming in and get everything dialed this down for you guys one. so bear with us yes it is that one and it is already laminated it just needs to go on the cutter oh sweet oh that's easy oh that's easy Okay. Anyway, yeah, no, I already did. It's already done. It just needs to be cut. Okay. He was all freaking out because he thought it wasn't done yet. But of course, of course, I'm on top of it. So, anyways, hey, fat dad, how are you? You can keep it going. He wants me to keep it going. He's like, let me see if I can like rotate this so you can like see. He's oh wait 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 we have we have another resellers. Oh, uh, it's just I just rotated it a tad. Oh, you you can't even okay. you can't even see anything. It's fine. I'll close that. You're, you can't see anything. You can't see anything. No? Okay. Because she watches this. <laughs> you can't yeah. see anything. You're there good. You go. You're good. That's a big order for somebody that we're blind shipping for. Okay. So do you guys have any questions about reselling? We talked about Etsy on our part one and then I got interrupted. Yes, I paid the internet bill, Mike. It's not that. I got a phone call and it even though my phone's on do not disturb i got a phone call and it shut off the video so um yeah tell them to stand in front of it no no no, you can't see it anyways it's fine um but yeah if you guys have any questions i'm happy to answer questions um we've taken a couple notes here of some topics that we want to talk about in the future to do like an actual video on derek's working really hard to get back into um weekly videos um you That's are yeah, yeah. you are working very hard i don't know that he's working on anything else oh i am get out of here but <laughs> he's working really hard on everything you can move the chair to cover it i know it's actually, this is the one over yeah, here so we have two we have two cutters right so there's the one over there that's doing the job that's going to be picked up in about it'll take like 20 minutes to cut. Yeah, we, we have an hour uh, and a half to do it. But um, I just thought it needed to be yeah, laminated and it was on the back of a roller. No, I already it's already done. So Hi well, Filthy Turtle, how are you? You worked till like nine o'clock last night. I so was here I mean, late. Yeah. I don't know. I normally know what's going on, but she worked till like nine o'clock last yeah, night. So I wasn't here. I'm mega tired. Um this morning. So I got a big coffee and Me too. I had I'm to here though. Kids. I'm here. You had to handle the kids. Yeah. Um, fat dad finally monetized this week. Hey, good for you. That's awesome. Oh yeah. Uh, that was nice. That's a, that's a big deal. Yeah. That's Did you awesome. This guy here. I think so. Yeah, okay, good. I don't know. <laughs> no, he wants to make sure I'm monetizing. I don't know. You know, again, the older I get, the more I'm like, I don't know how to do that stuff. So, but yes, um, that's awesome. Congratulations. Um, actually, no, we have not always had two cutters. Um, I don't know if Derek posted about it or not. He might have, but I, I am like a walking lightning bolt. And <laughs> what the <laughs> hell does that mean? <laughs> this is live, babe. <laughs> okay, what I mean by that is everywhere I go, I get oh, shocked. Oh, shocking. Yeah, okay. That's it. 
And Everywhere okay. I go, I get shot. She has fried okay. our graph deck cutter well, that's twice. Why she's like, out of here. <laughs> so, yes. So, it has happened two times in the past couple months that I have gone to go cut stickers and I have shot the board. You don't even know. Okay, they gave us a static shield to put behind it and it burned straight through that. It was ridiculous. And the label press produces so much static though too. So, of course, this... Okay, so the first... No, 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 this was the last time it happened. We were actually all going to Disneyland, like the next day. And I go over there and I, I had hit to the pause. Trip too. I hit the pause button and I get this mega shock and now it's not working. And so he didn't get to go to Disneyland. <laughs> I got to go, but he didn't get to go. And so that's when we were like, we can't have this happen anymore because if we lose our graph tech, I mean, business is down. We can't do anything. So we went ahead and purchased an additional graph tech. Do you guys find um, a pattern here? Every time we plan a trip, I'm always, can't go last minute. You never minute. get to go. Hey there. Oh, hey, thank you. All right. Um, got and six this morning. Yeah, you can put it just right across here and I'll move this little part so you don't And so, um, anyways, we, we had to get oh, two okay. of them. So <laughs> that way, if one goes down, we have another one. Um, Sarah is shockingly amazing. Yes. Yes. She gets work done. But, oh, oh, but here's the thing. Okay, I went and I bought Converse, right? Just regular old Converse, okay? And I've been wearing these to work every day for the past like two weeks and no more shocks. So if somebody knows anything about that or can explain yeah. that, so when I'm in my Skechers, uh, when I'm in my- over there yesterday okay. with your dad. Yep, I got it. And then, have you seen the one over there? Uh, by, yeah. By the sink? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I have one there. So I just haven't gotten it. <laughs> just making sure, like, somebody... Yeah, I was, yeah, off, we, I was off for a couple it. of weeks. I yeah, mean, we, we needed uh, uh, nine rolls of vinyl uh, by Monday, so we had to order everything we could. Yeah, cool. I saw that one there a couple days ago. I was like... Yeah, okay. <laughs> it, it's ready to throw on there. <laughs> did, one, did, did one of my driver... Did somebody else... You, like, usually we have them shipped uh, by a pallet, but we needed them last minute, so... It's all good. All right, thanks, Dan. We just got delivery, so yeah. Anyways, I've got Converse now, and they don't shock me, but when I wear my Skechers or my flats or my flip-flops or basically any other shoe, I am, every single time I get up from my computer or I walk over, I get shocked. Every time, in fact, I've made it a habit to hit my knee on the metal bar down here at the bottom before I touch anything, so that way I get shocked on the knee and I don't actually shock our equipment. Um, yeah, static is the worst. I Fat Dad says, I know how it goes, Derek. My wife's been on six trips this year. And you didn't get to go, huh? <laughs> it's your shoes. It's my shoes. Yeah, yeah. I know. The I, shoes I know. I know. I've, had that, I've had that problem before. I yeah. swear. I, I got these Converse. And ever it. since I've been wearing these, I don't get shocked at all. Yeah. But any other shoe, I mean, I was breaking equipment because I she would touch it. She literally fried this uh, uh, twice. No twice. Yeah, yeah so twice. We had to this other one as backup. Yeah, I used to get these Sketchers like maybe like That's, ten years ago. Yes, Sketchers. I, I would be, oh I would be doing office buildings, uh -huh. and I would know. I would have my dyad board, and I would touch the door. Yeah, and with exactly. the dyad board before I. Yeah. Touched. And sometimes it'd be like. <laughs> It's oh, not. And it hurts after. That's so funny. <laughs> it's the Skechers. Skechers. Not good Skechers, for print shops. Yeah, not Just warranted saying. for print shops. Man. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Skechers. Let's work together to create a better shoe. Hey, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> the Sierra shoe. Um, yeah, no, the. the uh, exactly which ones it was. Remember a little while back they did those like funky like rolling shoes? Oh, uh, yeah. There's a pair of those. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they... They made me a half an inch taller, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm short, so I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. Take it, take everything Thanks, you can get. Thank you. Um, yeah. Okay, I have to read. I'm so sorry, I just had a brain fart. Um, rubber soles, maybe. I don't know, I also heard something about that they have like a little had in there somewhere i don't know where but anyways it yeah it may be the rubber soles but i thought all shoes had rubber soles i don't know much about shoes but i guess i guess that's not the case as as our driver just said he had an issue with sketches too he kept getting shocked everywhere so it's yeah 
it, the shoes make a huge difference. So if you're getting shocked all the time at work, get yourself some Converse, it makes a difference. No, this is not a paid advertisement for Converse. <laughs> I just wear them and they work. <laughs> I can't wear them, my feet are too wide. Converse only makes like narrow, narrow. <laughs> I was saying, I was saying the, the other day, I said, I don't, I think the last time I had Converse, I was in high school and I was like, wow, that was, that was a long time ago. I don't want to say how many years, but that was a long time ago. Anyways, I recommend Converse for print shops. Um, yes, Nathan, the rubber sole makes a huge difference. Fat Dad says he went to the one in Long Beach, but you tried to go to that one, Derek, and you weren't able to go to that one either. Oh, because yeah, so because that's the one that we were gonna go when we went down to Disneyland. Right. That's why you didn't get to go, because you didn't get to go at all. Oh, the vac we didn't have our vaccinations at that no, time. No, 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 that was this, I think that was this most recent one. Remember we were gonna go to Disneyland and then you were gonna go over to Long Beach to the graphics expo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That but since one, you yeah. didn't get to go at all, you didn't get to go at all, so. Um, I love stickers. Thank you. We love stickers too. Any alternative to the BN20 for small print and cut? Uh, do you have an alternative for the BN20 for small prints and cuts? I don't have any. Mm -hmm. No, I don't have any uh, experience, unfortunately. No, we're unfortunately no. Um, we really only had three printers. We've had the BN20, then we had the HP Latex, and then we had our TrueViz over here rolling. Um, you know, the BN20 is really great. You can't really beat the quality that you get with the BN20. It's just kind of slow. So if you're doing small orders, it might be perfect for you. We outgrew our BN20 pretty quick. Um, and so we had to, within a couple months, we had to get a bigger machine. But if you're not planning on making that your sole business and making that kind of your your growth opportunity and you know all that stuff, if you're just doing it as like a side thing for fun or like a side hobby, uh, the BN20 is great for sure. Uh, we know a lot of people that have great success with the BN20. Um, Nathan says lots of shoes have a poly. I can't say that word. Don't make fun of me. Polyurethane thane sole <laughs> i don't know yeah i don't know what sketchers has but it didn't work for me here and i fried two graph tech boards within a couple months um so that cost us a pretty penny you can imagine but now we've got two graph techs which let me tell you what makes a huge difference because we can have multiple jobs going at the same time um so we have a job for fifty thousand stickers right now that's been going non-stop and I've been able to still do my Etsy orders, my website orders, things like that on the other ones. So if you're able to have multiple machines, I highly recommend it. It makes a huge difference. Um, back you've, back even back. if you have it as like a backup, um, it, it, it really helps. Cause once your machine goes down, business goes down and you're, you're kind of out of luck. Um, and we can't afford to not be producing stickers and labels and things like that. We can't afford to just have a machine down. Um, so for us, getting the second cutter made a huge difference. And especially since we've now started um, getting a ton of orders this week for resellers and, and stuff like that, and big orders, um, not just, you know, 100 pieces, like 1,000, you know, 50,000 pieces here, 30,000 here. Um, it's really nice to have a separate machine so you can still get those Etsy orders out and still keep making progress on your giant orders. Um, Osmond, how are you? Hey, we're doing okay today. Happy Friday. Um, we did a little uh, chat earlier and I got a phone call and it cut out. Um, but we talked about Etsy and we talked about the fact that Derek and I both have two separate Etsy shops that we've put up as like an experiment to see about growth and uh, we've had really great success. So if anybody out there is looking for tips on Etsy, how to grow your business like that, definitely check out the first part of our live that we did today. I think or it's Graph Tech Cutter Blades. What about check, Graph? Check out AztecLabels.com to get uh, the best pricing for cutter blades, for Graph Tech Cutter Blades. Check out AztecLabels.com for cutter blades. Or Graph Tech Cutter Blades. Graph Tech Cutter Blades. Yeah. 
There you go. Was that like a little like a plug? Yeah. A plug? Yeah, okay. Yeah. You just didn't do so smooth. <laughs> no. Well, I was talking about Etsy, and then all of a sudden you're like, it's like a it's like a in-house commercial. Oh, because I just let me pull. just stop what I'm talking about here and be like, hey, check out Sierra's stickers for custom stickers. Okay, back to what we were talking about. Um, <laughs> it's true, easy, precise cutting, longevity, and uh, precision point control. Craft Tech Cutter Blades, get it now, AztecLabels.com. Yeah, Osman has been a, uh, correct me if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. Osman has been a member for three months and he says, thanks for great content, I learned a lot. Also, Cutter Blades work great. Awesome! Thank you. He's a presidential supporter. Oh, dude, thank you so, so much. So thank you so much, um, that means a lot to us. We're really trying to get back into the whole um, thing of posting more videos. Derek and I were talking about we wanted to do a podcast. Uh, so if anybody has any tips and tricks on podcasts and doing that, we'd love to hear them. Um, we would also really like to have people come on and talk to us about their business. And and um, I know Mike the Print Man and Rye and everybody's all interested in that. So we'd love to we'd love to incorporate that kind of a thing too. We know a lot of people use these videos as like noise in the background while they're working. Um, and so we think a podcast would be kind of the next step to do that. I don't know why I just was, I don't know what I'm talking about. To do that, to have in the background for people. Um, we have some, a, a list of topics that we'd really like to talk about. So if you guys have any questions or anything that you'd like us to really focus on from one of the videos or one of the podcasts, please send it to us. You can either put it in the, the message here and we'd love to take it down and, and put together something. Mill Webb says he'd love to talk. Hey, we want to talk to you too. Um, and so we'd love, we'd love to put something together like that. We have a really great community on Discord. If you're not on Discord, you can find us at Print Shop Talk on Discord. There's, I don't know how many members are in there, but there's a ton of members. And the really nice thing is it's an excellent community of like-minded, printers and business owners that come together and they're all willing to help each other which is really nice what did you find my uh, copy is that the one from this morning or is that the one from yesterday no, that, is the one from this okay. that is the worst <laughs> if you ever had coffee or a latte you know like a mocha or whatever where it uses a little bit of milk and then you leave it somewhere and then you come back to it a week later or something, and then you drink it. Oh God! The He's got a habit of doing that with it his rock stars. It tastes like chemical. Too. Oh God, it is so bad. So I make sure yeah, but that now that it's cold out, you know, I'm starting to drink more. Coffee. Yeah, I make sure I clean up my area every day. But Derek will leave a rock star out, and then he'll come back the next day, and it's not it's it's not the one from today. <laughs> it is bad. So, <laughs> um. Oh, Blank Label's back in stock. We're oh. going to start uh, opening it up again, so. Okay, yep, Blank for Labels. Inkjet. If you need Blank Labels for your inkjet, check out Azteclabels.com, and you can order them directly on our website. I don't know if they're there yet. Are they up? Uh, not yet, but if they do need it, I can manually send them. Okay, uh, so shoot them an email, Derek at Azteclabels.com, and he can get you set up with Blank Inkjet Labels that you can have at your shop and print yourself. Um, Fat Dad says consistency is key. We go live five days a week. Absolutely, consistency is huge. Unfortunately, we lack consistency oh, hey, got, on a regular some, business. Uh, uh, thingies, the green stuff. What is it? Oh, Mill Web, presidential supporter. Thank Ooh, you, Mill Web. Hey, if you guys don't know, Mill Web, it has like a. I don't know if they can hear you. You might want to come oh, closer. Uh, Mill Web has a, <laughs> a, a kick ass <laughs> banner shop, and he does like. Oh, dude, his. His TikToks are freaking cool. Like, I'll watch them all the time. He makes people angry uh, because put, they put think that he actually packages want. like that. I, I don't I don't know <laughs> if, uh, yeah, people actually believe that. <laughs> I don't know if you want uh, us to say it or not, but if you do, put it in the chat, uh, what your uh, uh, TikTok or Instagram is. Yeah. Uh, because it's pretty cool, man, it's, the packaging. It's funny. I read some of the comments. They're pretty entertaining. They're like, the really? The comments are funny. half of the entertainment, honestly. <laughs> uh, people will be like, I don't know why I just watched him package up a poster for like three times in a row, but I did. Like, or, like, <laughs> or uh, uh, 
if my employee packed it like that, he would be fired. And like, right? guys, you don't understand. Mill Web's <laughs> like, I am the employee. I guess I should tell my boss. Like, <laughs> my boss put up this video to see how I'm doing, and and uh, I think I'm gonna get fired. Like, <laughs> um. Osmond says, I have an FC9000 as well, and I cut my stickers on tool three position with a different condition settings. I don't change the tool. Perfect. That's, that's, yeah. we don't change ours either. That's what either. we're doing here. We don't change ours Unfortunately, either. I have to do perf cut because they were done in a different order. And so for whatever reason, the front goes all the way to the back. We were in a rush to get this in. I think we just laid it out however we mm -hmm. had to at the time. Uh, Usually we don't perk up though. In addition, if I cut out small pop-up stickers, they're fine. If I cut large pieces, they get stuck because they fall off during the movement. You need to do perk cut for large pieces. Um, we we use number... Tool position three. Tool position three on our large ones. And I mean, our large ones are like, we're talking like 91 inches, like, yeah. you know. 91 by 38. So 91 by 38. So we use that for ours and it doesn't... They don't pop out. They hold in pretty good. But we do perf cut um, on those. Ones. But those are perf cut. And then I would just make sure they maybe your speed yeah, you and go your um, force. So double play with those a little bit because sometimes if you have it too fast, um, and sometimes if you have the force a little too hard, it doesn't really matter what your your um, path cut is it's gonna it's gonna be too rough and it will cause it to pop out a little bit easier so I would say play with your force play with your speed that's what we use for our large prints um so I just play around with it a little bit um Minnie says hi guys hope you're both doing well I never caught you on a live before hey welcome hey. who is it uh Minnie Minnie all right Minnie with three eyes um, just want to say you've inspired me to push my custom sticker business to the next level. Derek's tips have helped me so much and I wouldn't be where I am without the advice from this channel. It's awesome. Thank you. We are really proud to have grown with you guys here on YouTube. And I mean, you saw us when we were in our garage and we were just starting out. Uh, there's this one video where Derek, Derek, I think it was the BN20 or whatever, yeah. but you saw it. it cut one sticker and it was like mm, really slow and then it did these like woo you know and like, like here oh we are man, three years so later fast. and it's like pop 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 um but we're really we're really pleased to grow with you guys and we're happy to help you grow in your business too um you know it's it's we're it's definitely not a monopoly here like there's room for everybody to succeed and there's room for everybody to grow and if there's any questions you have or if there's any topics that you'd really like for us to focus on for a video uh leave it in the comment section we we're looking for um podcast ideas we want to do a podcast we're looking for um things you want to see us do i know we talked about doing a, um like a, a a video once a week where Derek shows you how to do one specific thing. So it'll be focused on, um, for instance, like the perf cutting or, or whatever. But we're looking at topics. So if you have questions or anything, please leave them below. We'd be happy to answer. Um, we're glad that you found the information useful. Um, Things like this for special menu features on the Graph Tech, mm -hmm. where you can recalibrate the black and white for your sensors if you're having issues auto alignment registration. So I'm printing these out so I can get ready to do a uh, in-depth on like the graph tech, things that aren't in the manual. I know Mill Web says people like the drama. I know, <laughs> I know. That's what they like to see on you TikTok. You have 47 stickers to get there you in notice, only 10 minutes. Yeah, uh, you notice if you scroll through TikTok, uh, what's becoming really popular is, is the, um, the videos where it's like conversations with a customer and it'll be, they're really showcasing on a negative experience that they had with a customer. And while people love the drama and those are entertaining to watch, um, us personally, we really don't like to focus on the negative. And um, I would really hate to have, I mean, trust, trust me, we get plenty of you know, instances that we could do that kind of video, you know, every, every small business does, but I just don't, 
it's like a moral thing for me. I just don't feel right um, blasting, even though I'm not saying their name or anything like that. I just, everybody has bad days. I try to just leave it like that. Um, you know, I had a customer yesterday who I was not in a position to answer my personal phone for an order and they were very upset because they wanted to talk to a person and my text messages were not good enough for them. And they were just looking for a quote and I kind of was like, you know, you can go to our website and get a quote. Uh, if it's the same image, you just have to put in the size and shape. You were in a meeting and, with our kids team. And I was, in a, I was in a meeting. I wasn't in a position to talk. You know, I really don't answer my personal phone for work. Um, I just, I don't really answer phone numbers. I know, and you can ask Derek, I don't answer my phone anyways. So he calls me and I don't answer like 90% of the time. Um, but I really don't do personal, or I don't do business stuff on my phone. I don't, I don't want to take orders on my phone. I don't, you know... You can, that's what the website's for, the email, you can call the company phone, there's a bunch of different options. But anyways, this person yesterday was very irritated because they wanted to talk to me on the phone to get a quote and I was not able to take their call and they were like, "Never mind, I'll take my business elsewhere. And I'm like, okay, have a nice day. You know, we get plenty of instances where stuff like that happens, but me personally, I don't feel right focusing on the negative. I like to let that go and move on. Um, I'm the kind of person that I will dwell on a bad thing and I don't want to give it any more attention than it deserves. So I just let it go. But yeah, you're right. People really love the drama, um, especially those conversations with the customer. And, you know, we all laugh at it, but I don't feel right doing it. Um, let's see. Osman says, will you attend the Print United in Las Vegas? We're knocking on wood that Derek will go. Um, we have really bad luck with we plan these things and then something happens. This last time we had a family emergency. Uh, he had to cancel the day of his flight. Um, and so we're, we're knocking on wood that he's going to go. But yes, we will keep you posted as things. I'd really like for him to go. I think it's really important. As we get closer, we'll let you know about, you know, if it's a go or no go. We'll keep you posted. But yeah, we really want to go. Um, um, Minnie says, I missed what you were saying about Discord. Do you have a server? Yes, we do. Search print shop. Um, search print shop talk, just like the YouTube channel name in Discord. And there's a whole group of us on there that all help each other throughout the day. It's a really nice community to ask questions, get help, um, and give input. And then we have a lot of laughs too. It's really funny. <laughs> um, Millweb says, I can't do that to a client. Um, Right. I'm just making fun of myself. Right. I'm happy to do that too. I'll be like, look how I look what I did today. But like, I just can't blast somebody. I just don't feel right. Um, Brandon. Hey, Brandon. How's it going? Uh, quick question. I have to print out an RMA shipping label. Do I just tape it to my box? What's an, uh, what's an RMA? Yeah, uh, return. Uh, so yeah, I always put one inside the package and then I put one on the outside. He, I don't know if you can hear him. Put one inside the package and put one on the outside. If that helps. Tape it on the outside, put one inside. Well, is it to us? Uh, I don't think it's to us. Oh, okay, I think yeah, it's yeah. just Usually in general. Usually when I ship it to people, I put one inside and then outside. Um, hopefully that answers your question. Um, Nicholas says... Thank you for everything you do and all the information you share. Do you ship the Graph Tech blades to Sweden? Not currently. Do we what? Um, ship to Sweden. No, not no currently. we don't ship out of the country currently. And the only reason we did, so we did it first way back when, but we don't anymore because um, Lost blade. just it's like there's this whole window of it gets tracked, it gets tracked, it gets tracked, and then boom, once it's outside, it's no longer tracked. Nobody knows where it is. It takes forever. Customs are a pain in the butt. Um, there's like all these things that really work against you um, when it comes to shipping outside of the country. We would really like to. Maybe we will get there one day, but right now we just can't. Um, uh, shipping is just a nightmare when it comes to shipping. Um, outside of the US. We've just really had a hard time with that. We used to ship to like Japan and and I mean I've shipped a couple things over to Egypt and stuff like and it just um it's like once it goes through that it's out of the US and then there's no tracking. It's like where's not that you would do this. I don't mean that by any means, but it's like where's my package? Where's my package? Where's my package? And I'm like I literally have no idea. <laughs> uh, I do not know. 
uh, you know, and so, so we just decided, hey, we're US only. Um, I think our next step may be opening up to like Canada and Mexico, just because they're nearby. Really um, like to ship to we'd really like to ship to Canada, but we're just not, we're just not quite so there yet. Because it's the same, it's the same thing. As soon as it gets out of the United States, it just kind of like disappears and then boom, it's there. So if anybody knows of like a way to make that not happen and make it more convenient, I'd really love to hear it. Um, but just our experience, and granted, this was a couple years ago, was just there's this whole window of we have no idea what's going on and we can't help you with tracking, you know, and this package lost, we don't know. Um, Nathan says, don't tape over the barcodes, right? Um, Minnie says, uh, charges, custom charges and tracking is a nightmare. Yeah, that was one thing um, we would think we would estimate shipping and it would be way under or um, it get held at customs or it get held or it was just a nightmare. So yeah, like I said, if anybody has any like tips on that, we'd really love to hear it and we'd love to um, learn from you. Now, really. But right now we only ship in the US um, and we still get people that are like, where's my package? And we're like, look, literally like your tracking number says it's on the way. You can see it here. Imagine if there was no tracking and it was just gone. So many says, uh, they worked in the post office for six years. I've seen so many instances of international packages not arriving. Right. I mean, we have bless you for working in the postal service because we know that that can be chaotic as well they give them such a bad rep but honestly we don't really have any issues with with deliveries although our postman is a plus outstanding the, guy the best postman we've ever had um so he's wonderful but um he will literally come back at the end yes. of the ship just to drop off extra bins yes for us. if i go hey do you have any bins in your truck and he's like no i'm like okay maybe just like, can you bring some tomorrow? He'll show up a couple hours later with like a stack of bins. And or he'll come back um, right before the end of his shift. Yep. So he picks up two times a day. He's yep. really cool. He's just the best. Um, but yeah, we've never really had a problem shipping with USPS at all. Um, we use it for 95% of our packages um, and they're really wonderful. Um, I know a lot of people use UPS. Um, we is is that the one where it was supposed to be like an overnight shipment and they were like oh we didn't have any other packages going so we held it for the other day for oh, that important yeah. one yeah that was for someone who is uh printing for a very very high uh um, high-end company and yeah they held it didn't this it didn't matter that it was an overnight shipment they're like oh we didn't have anything else going so we held it it's like oh Until the truck was my cold. god so, so anyways, UPS is great. Sometimes FedEx, we have pretty good luck with, um, but USPS has been our main shipping service forever. They're pretty reliable. I mean, really like that that tracking is constantly there. Um, Mike says, I got to do some work in the warehouse. Take care. He's going to email Derek about the coloring books. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, have a Mike. great rest of your day. Um, Millweb says stopped using USPS and now I only use UPS and FedEx. Yeah, I believe he does like two-day delivery or something. Yeah. Like I don't know that. <laughs> I was Alexa. Alexa just said, sorry, I don't know that. Yeah. I don't know how he does either, Derek. Like, <laughs> but that's awesome. Yeah. If it works for you, it works for you. Like we well, just his products are a lot heavier though, too. That's true. Ours are ours are pretty light. Um, K12 clothing, do you use Pirate Ship or USPS business? No, we, we have use Ship Key Pro. We use Ship Keep Pro. We can put the link in the bottom mm -hmm. of our shipping provider, and it's like one of the lowest rates out there. We ever. love Ship Keep Pro, and in fact, they're rolling out a new updated program version, and we're gonna be in the, the, beta, the beta tester for that. Um, so the, the update will be made for general public in like six months or so while we work out the bugs with them and everything. But ShipKey Pro, honestly, we've had like zero issues. It connects to your Etsy, it connects to your store, they like WooCommerce, things like that. Um, they have a whole team that's available. Um, His name is Morgan. Morgan? Yeah, Morgan. Yeah. We'll put the Morgan. 
at Shipkey Pro. We use them and we just think they're just great. So. Oh, actually, um, I think they set, we've never used it, but I think they set us up to where somebody recommends that they, or say that they came from us, they get some shipping funds to test with. Oh. So I think, I think that's still there. Okay. Um, so dear, I don't know if you guys can hear him back there or not, but he was saying that if you go to Shipkey Pro and you reach out to them and you say, hey, Sierra Stickers uses you guys. They kind of like to try it or whatever. They will actually give you like, like uh, a balance to test them out with as like a trial. So maybe go check them out and Here, give them a uh, shot. Put the link down in the, the or put the phone number down below. So his, uh, in here. Yeah. So his. So click edit. Edit video. Yep. Edit video, and then the description should pop up. Erase okay. all of that description stuff, or at the very top, just down space. There you go. Okay, so it's Morgan. Or, whoops, I can't. Uh, Morgan from Shipping Service, and his phone number is one three eight five two zero seven eight two two six. Okay. And say that you got the number from me, so he's not like, hey, where'd you get this number from? <laughs> you could even text him. Say I got it from Sierra Stickers. Okay. Now, how do I get back? Oh, and save. I did save. Okay. Again, I'm not super, like, high-tech, so I'm like, if I exit out, does it stop the video? No. But okay. we have... But he, we just added it into the item description, so if you guys want to see that number, you guys can reach out to Morgan if you're interested in giving it a shot. Um, but that's what that's what we use. To help you integrate to let them yeah. know. Um, DHL is good for international. Hey, DHL is good. I've used DHL. You know, I will say I've had something shipped to me. I had a phone case um, shipped to me from somewhere like turkey or something like that i can't remember where it was but it was it was over there and it was like it updated okay it's in germany now and now it's shipping and everything and it was like i never even saw the notice that it was like in the united states or anything it just boom showed up so again there's that whole like tracking thing where there's no consistency with like this is where your product is um i was happy mine showed up when it did that was great but there was a whole time period where I was like, I don't know where this is anymore. Um, Alexa rave mode, right. She, she randomly talks. Derek and I will be having. The great reset. See, right there. Tech business press. The audio book is one credit from Audible. Would you like to buy it? No, no. no. Buy it. She just recommended an audio book. COVID-19 pandemic reset. The great life reset. From Audible. Alexa, turn off. Me? She just recommended an audiobook. See, I have the, the the Great Pandemic Recession or something like that. I well, but anyways, we'll be having a conversation. She'll randomly chime in, and we're like, no, it's like the Office Ghost joining a conversation. <laughs> Everyone's gotta have their two cents. I'm having issues finding the Discord server. Um, I. It should be in the link below. It should be in the link below. Let me look. Graph tech. Da, na, 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 na. Can I print shop talk all one word? Okay, I don't see it on here. Um, I will have to figure that out. I'm not sure. They said we triggered their Alexa. Oh, yeah? <laughs> mm, sorry about that. Sorry. Oh, here's nothing is playing at the moment. Should I say something to trigger everybody's right now? We could no. all listen to the same thing. No. <laughs> Alexa, turn off. You know, you know what? That's what I'm gonna start. Once we get once we get a podcast going, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna just turn on YouTube and be like, Alexa, play rock. <laughs> right, like play Print Shop Talk Radio, and then everybody has to listen to that. No, Alexa, Alexa turn, turn off. off. <laughs> Anyways, so if you guys have any questions or anything, please feel free to reach out. Um, some of the things that we've talked about today is the fact that Derek and I both have a separate Etsy store from our main Etsy store. We're doing an experiment to see how it is to go from 
the first beginning stages and grow so that way we can help you guys with your shops um, and give tips and tricks on that. We talked about the Print Expo next month in Las Vegas, October 19th through the 21st. We wanna know if you're going. Um, we wanna know if you'll be there. Derek's gonna try to make it. Something always comes up. So we are knocking on wood that he is able to go to this next one coming up. Um, we talked a little bit about our coloring book. If you guys haven't seen our most recent video on the coloring book, um, we are asking for donated artwork to put together a coloring book to donate to our local hospitals for the kids. Um, we had a family emergency and we realized that we'd really like to do something nice to give back and this is one way we can do it. So if you're interested in participating in that, please send us your artwork to Derek at printshoptalk.com. Please include a QR code to your either your store, your Instagram, whatever you want to include, either a QR code or the, the tag so that way we can give you credit for the artwork. Um, and then if, if enough people donate and we want to get those together, we can also post the coloring book online to uh, be available for sales for really cheap, just to help offset the costs of our paper and materials and ink and all that stuff. But we're donating all of that. It's just something really nice we want to do. We are not artistic, so that's why we're asking for help. Um, although I'm trying to draw oh, on my iPad. I'm try I'm trying to draw my iPad. I don't know. I can draw a flower. That's you know. I drew an ice cream cone, like things like that. Um, and then the last thing we talked about was reselling labels. If you're interested in roll labels at wholesale resale pricing, check out Azteclabels.com. Um, that is our reselling um, specialty platform. Um, SierraStickers.com is our main website. Um, where you can purchase printed labels, you can purchase stickers, things like that, business cards, things like that. But this is a special thing for wholesales and resale. Um, so be sure to check that out. Um, uh, sorry, Minnie, I know I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna set it off again. I'm trying not to say her name. Um, K12 says, what type of artwork? We have a ton. Oh, they just retracted. Well, uh, anyways, I'll just say any kind of artwork that's appropriate for children. So somebody donated a coloring book that's the alphabet with a picture corresponding, like alien is for A. No anime with someone's head getting locked Yeah, nothing, off, right? nothing so. that's uh, rated R or any X or anything like that. Um, Sejan, Se Sejan, I'm totally saying that wrong. I apologize. What printers do you print on uh, for stickers or for printed products? Um, we have Konica Minolta's. We, we have a Konica Minolta. We have a Roland. Um, a Kiro. A Kiro label. We have a few different printers in Flexo house. Printer. Um, our big one is our Roland for our stickers and our Konica Minolta for paper printed products and our Curia label by Konica Minolta for our roll labels. Soon to be multiple Rolands. I said it right. Oh, okay, thank you, good. Yeah, don't ask Derek to read, it'll be a nightmare. <laughs> I'm just saying it's true, it's true. Um, it hurts. Mill Webb says, send me the spreadsheets to sell the labels when you can. Okay. Oh, uh, spread, there's no spreadsheets. Mm. It's just uh, online. There's no spreadsheet. Uh, it's just online. But, it's because it, does, it um, calculates it a little bit less online. Okay. It, and it gives you the actual weight and shipping. Okay. So he says it calculates it for you online and gives you the weight and shipping online. But if you have more questions, shoot him an email. Okay. You don't need an account right now to see pricing. Um... Oh, you're a full-time rolling tech. Woo! Okay, let's be friends. Oh, well, what was his name? Se now you're gonna ask me to say it again. Yeah. Se Sejan? Sejan? I don't know if I spoke Sejan? with him. He might have been the guy I spoke with one time. I don't know. Shoot, shoot me an email. Shoot him an email, let's, let's be friends. Um, yeah, stuff stuff happens. Our, our, that, that printer has been super reliable, but you know, stuff happens sometimes. Um, but we really haven't had an issue with the roll-in. We love it. It's like We're the best thing ever. Roll in. We are going to get another one. Um, Mill Web says I'm a full-time roll-in tech too. Ah, uh, we. You know what? We okay, but he put a laughing time. face, so like I think he's full of crap. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> like, yeah, well, I print banners, and I'm this big hotshot on TikTok, so like you know. 
Let's just <laughs> call it how we see it, okay? Well, no, really, I don't know if you are or not, so I'm not making fun of you, I promise. I'm just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> It's like us with the Epsons, you know, we, we were a full-time Epson tech when we had Epsons. Yeah, we're a full-time, we're a full, we, he's like, I have eight Rollins. Holy cow! Dude, I thought you had like four of them. There's eight? Holy cow, man. Oh, uh, he's printing all day, like large, you know, banner jobs. Oh too, my so. gosh. Ask him what pass he mostly prints at. What pass do you use on the Roland? Yes, yeah, Saj, Saj, he says we can call him Saj, okay? okay. And uh, he's 100% certified from Roland DGA Corp. Oh, that is awesome. Cool. Yeah, so he has nice to meet you. He has access to the back where he can like uh, you know log in and change the heads and stuff. He's got like, he's got do. secret access that we can't get to, except now we can because we have a friend. <laughs> um, not a real tech. Just know how to, he says high speed. Oh, yeah. 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 Unfortunately, if you want to change the print heads, you have to log into their server or get some special key that's hacked. That's awesome. Wow, eight Rollins. Well, ask them what Rollins they are. Oh, yeah, what are they? They're all BN20s. No. That's why he needs eight. <laughs> <laughs> They're all slow. <laughs> uh, just kidding. Just kidding. We love our, we loved the BN20 when we had it. It worked right. He says three pass. Holy shit, he is flying. Is three pass even an option? That's not an option on ours. Ours is 13 and 16. Is he, that because of the material? He probably made like uh, profiles. Yeah, probably made. Uh, well, also he's running banner material. Different material? Yeah. You have a dryer with that then most likely, right? All BN20s running banners. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mill webs yes. the professional BN20. A quarter of an inch every 15 minutes. Yes. No, just kidding. Um, that's so funny. Wow. Three pass. That's insane. I would love to see what that even looks like. I didn't even pass. know that the Roland yeah. could go that fast. Yeah. Well, that's I, like faster than the HP le Lex, uh, yeah. the Latex. I'm assuming you probably need, uh, oh, that's way faster. I'm assuming like, you probably need dryers afterwards. Because How long like, do you let it sit afterwards before you like cut it? I'm really curious. Wow. Saj says he has a VS640i. Forgive me, my eyesight's really bad. I'm trying to read the screen. Only works on banners. That's awesome. Yeah, good for you. We tried doing banners at, in the beginning and it just- It's a lot of work. You know what happened? I think to our biggest frustration with banners is that customers would submit artwork that was not Remotely close, remotely to close to size correctly. And they would send us something that's, you know, six inches and they want it to be printed on a 30 Eight foot one. banner. And the quality is just not there. And so there's so much back and forth with that. And then the other issue that I, ha I came across a couple times was that they would send me something and they'd want me to add text or whatever. And I would add the text but then they would, there'd be a spelling error after they proofed it. And it was just, it ended up just being kind of like a like, nightmare. Remember that the lady put Los Angeles? Yes, yeah. somebody put Los, they sent me the artwork. I didn't make it for them. I didn't do any editing. They sent me the artwork and I printed. And it said Los Angeles, not Los Angeles. I am, I am not here to proofread your design. I, I mean, if I see a mistake, I'll let you know. I've done that for people before, but I'm not here to read your design. Most of the time, I don't even notice the artwork until later. I'm just there to make a cut line for you and make sure we're all good and we print ship and, and everything's good. But this person wrote the wrong thing and they um, they got their, their, this was stickers though. This wasn't a big banner, oh, but no, 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 but same, same kind of thing, yeah. you know. Um, and I printed and shipped their stickers and they messaged me back and said, this is spelled wrong. And I said, um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I can, re I can print you a new one. You're gonna need to repurchase. What do you mean? You're not just gonna send me an updated version? No, ma'am, uh, this was not my error. I, I did not make this mistake. I cannot reprint and reship your thing when it's your, you sent me the artwork ready to go and it's, there's a spelling error. And she ended up giving me a one-star review and was like, I, these labels are useless. And I'm like, 
cool. Not my fault, you can't spell. But of course it's easier to blame somebody else. So anyways, so anyways, with the banners, we had issues like that where somebody would send us something that was misspelt and we would print it for them and they'd get it and they'd be like, oh no, I made a mistake. And then they'd be really upset. And it's this giant thing that we have to roll up and send and it was just a nightmare. And so we were like, no more banners for us. Um, Mill, Mill web set, yeah, re recreate it. Yeah, no, you're paying for me to do that up front. I'm not gonna recreate it and then bill you because I did that once a long time ago and they didn't wanna pay. They wanted to use the artwork, but they didn't wanna pay. So I only sent them the amount of stickers that would fit with the design fee included. So like they ordered 150 stickers, but then they refused to pay the design fee even though I did the work. So I only sent them the amount of stickers that was left after that. So they only got like 50 stickers. So now I build them ahead of time. I will not do any design work without being paid first. Uh, no way, no way. Um, Millweb says his wife is the full-time designer now on Etsy. Yeah, nice. me too. That is cool. Yeah. Let's be real, me too, yeah. It, we should be friends. It's, it's <laughs> hard on Etsy, yeah, let, let them know it's hard on Etsy to pay a designer without you being the designer. Yes, it's hard, it's hard on Etsy to pay the designer without you actually being the designer. Um, people on, especially on Etsy, Outside of Etsy, it's a little different, but on Etsy, they they want, it's like minimal money for the most work. They don't want to pay a bunch of money for this high quality thing. They they don't understand why it costs so much. It's, it's, it's not people in the printing industry, so they don't understand the work that goes into it, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, charge them up front always. Um, it's such a headache if they, if you do all the work and then they refuse to pay. It's just not worth it. Um, oh, uh, I'm gonna say it wrong, probably Quing. Quing, how did you cut down the long vinyl rolls to 20 inches for the BN20? There was a local company that we ordered them from. They cut it for us. So we would place the order and they would cut it down to size. Um, and they so we didn't have to actually anymore. cut it ourselves. They don't do it anymore, um, but they, this was a few years ago, but they did. We bought the machine through them and then they would cut down the rolls for us. So there are companies out there that will do it for you. Um, um, Mimi, is there any way that you guys can send over your Discord link to me? Could I drop Derek an email? Yes, send Derek an email and we'll get you we'll Derek get you hooked up. Talk. Derek at printshoptalk.com. Just let us know what you're looking for and we'll we'll get you into the into the Discord group. Um, I'm sure it doesn't show. I don't see it on there. Um, no, I mean like show up in the search. Yeah. I don't know, I don't see it on there. Um K-12 clothing, we do school spirit well. But, wow. What do we do? <laughs> we do school spirit wear. Oh, that's cool. Fully understand the nightmares of editing and designing eras. It's never ending story. It is a never ending story. Um, it's always such a relief when a customer will admit that they made the mistake and that's understand why, like why you have to re- they know what they're doing and you have to repurchase. That's why we like working with resellers because they send us the artwork ready to go. We don't have to actually do anything with that. Um, and they know what they're doing for the most part. Um, where are you guys out of? We are located in the Sacramento area. Um, none, message retracted. Okie doke. Um, <laughs> G-I-A-K, was hoping to see you in Chicago. Hope your daughter recovered. Yeah, sorry, Thank man. you. I, you know, let's cross our fingers for Las Vegas, okay? Um, yeah, it was, it was very last minute. It was very uh, serious and very scary. And there was, no, there was no other option than for him to not go. Um, but she is doing better. Thank you very much for your concern. Sorry, we missed you. Um, hopefully he'll get to see you in Las Vegas. If you're planning on going, we're hoping to get him out there for that. Um, let's see. Isn't it Etsy commission high 
nowadays. No, it, it's not. It's less than Amazon takes thirty percent. Etsy's about six to eight. All right. So Derek says Amazon's thirty percent. Etsy yeah. six to eight. There's a lot of fees and stuff included, but you have to remember the market's already there for you. You don't have to do any work, which is nice. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of fees when you work with Etsy, but in my opinion, it's totally worth it, uh, especially if you're just getting started. You do not have to go out and find your customer base. They are already there and they are already searching for your product. So whatever you offer, whether it's shirts or whatever, people are looking for shirts. If you're looking for banners, people are offering banners. Probably and, not the best for stickers right now. But. Yeah, stickers is pretty saturated. There's so many companies out there. So you really have to find the thing that makes your brand special. So one of the things, like I was saying earlier, saying that you um, embroider your shirts in-house, that you use quality materials, um, that you do all the sewing yourself of keychains or, or whatever, something that makes your product a little more personal and stand out from the rest. A lot of things I notice on Etsy too is that people are just buying from like Alibaba and just reselling it without making it custom. And, and so keep that in mind too, when you're shopping on there, that not everything is made from scratch or made with that custom touch. Um, so you, and people might be offering the exact same product as you. So you have to find what makes yours stand out a little bit from the crowd. Um, yes, having customers send you artwork that's ready is really important for sure. Um, wholesale and book orders, bulk orders are what we try to keep going. Um, Etsy fees are cheap for the value because more fees equal more sales, right? That's why we were saying earlier about the advertisements. So it's worth it to pay for the advertisements to get your name out there. Um, you know, once you build a customer base or a, you know, um, Rela relationship, um, I'm trying to think of the, the word, but basically once you build up your status on Etsy, you're more likely to show up than if... Oh, once you rank. Once you rank, you know, you're more likely to show up once you've kind of built up your status on Etsy a little bit with sales and reviews and you show that you're actually like a legit shop. People are more likely to purchase even, and you might not need so many advertisements. You can kind of cut back a little bit, um, but it's really important to start off with advertisements even if it's just on one particular item to really boost that one so that it gets seen you don't um, need 50 products you can do it with just one yeah some people some people out there will say you need to have a million products on your shop that's not true um we we don't have a million products on our shop um, in fact, we had the bare minimum, you know, like one, one listing for custom stickers, one listing for custom labels, one for business cards. Um, and those do just fine. They end up being like best sellers. And we, so we have minimum, you know. Um, but yes, the more items you have, the more likely it is for somebody to click on that item and go to your shop and then see all the things you have to offer. Um, so it is important to have items in your shop, but you don't necessarily need to have 30 listings for one thing, basically. We see a lot of people have multiple listings for the exact same product. You don't really need to do that. And you don't really need to offer a gazillion listings on there. Cause let's be real. If you go to somebody's shop, you're not going to page 13 of their items to see yeah, everything no. they have, right? <laughs> you search, you search in the search engine. Hey, I'm looking for custom stickers. And then they pop up and you click on them and that's the one you go to and, and you go from there. Um, but you're really not looking for, especially not for printed products like stickers and business cards and stuff like that. You're really not looking for something that's, hey, let me go check out their shop and look at all the things they offer. So you don't need to have a ton of listings to be successful. Um, yeah, Millweb says, I spent 80K in the last three years in ads in Etsy alone. But look how amazing your store is doing in general. And the cool thing is, too, FYI, I can't tell you how many customers started off with us on Etsy and followed us on Instagram and saw that we have a website and now they purchased on our website or, or whatever. So, so it is the opportunity for people to discover you on other platforms. They're not always going to want to stay on Etsy. Especially if you offer products on a different on a different um, platform that you don't offer on Etsy, they're more likely to check out your website, and then you have an organic relationship with somebody on your website, and you're not solely relying 
on Etsy. At the worst, look as look at Etsy as a lost leader in a sense. Instead of paying for the advertisement on Google, which can be as high Expensive. as $12 as one click, yeah. especially for the custom stickers uh, uh, area, um, you can produce a product, still make a profit on it on Etsy, and you gain awareness uh, by people uh, using your product. So mm -hmm. I rather use Etsy as a marketing tool or brand awareness versus paying Google. So we stopped doing Google ads because we could spend 30 grand in one month and it poof disappears yeah, you know, or maybe expensive, expensive. maybe you know 1. 1.5 1.7 x on on the mm -hmm. investment there i don't know google that much um i know a little bit about it but i've tried it over and over and over and it's a break even sometimes even a little bit of loss you know okay you make some gains but after the product is sold you're still negative whereas etsy you could sell the product gain awareness make a profit Yes, it could be, yeah. you know, a lot of small orders, you know, uh, but we've gotten like $3,000 orders on Etsy. And then they decide, oh, hey, you know, let, let's look and see what other products you have. And they go to our webpage and then we build a relationship with the company. And now to this day, we have some really, really behind. I believe that's how Kaiser Permanente found us. Uh, yep. We did the Kaiser Permanente products for them. Through and Etsy. so through Etsy, Goodwill. Home Depot. Good Home Will. Depot. Goodwill. Um, uh, what are so some there's some ones? big, yeah. big companies that are on Etsy. Uh, oh, we printed for a TV show. Oh, we printed for a TV show. Um, John I'm... Cena. <laughs> uh, what was the TV show? Like, not Wipeout, but yes, it was, it was oh, Wipeout. Oh, it was Wipeout. Oh, yes. okay. So, well, so, okay so yeah. point being, yeah. there are big companies who are looking on Etsy to use small businesses. Like we said, small purchasing from small business is more popular than ever. Yeah, people right people want to be able to advertise. We support small business. We, you know, things like that. So they're looking for people on there. So it's not just, you know, Amy from down the street looking for stickers for a birthday party. It's also Kaiser. It's and also, you know, of, like- A lot of times small businesses are buying higher quality products to produce their product with. Mm -hmm. uh, so. You and it's less than what the big box stores are. So like our label products, we're getting the best domestic uh, material, the best uh, products in order to produce those labels or stickers. Our sticker material is made specifically for us. Mm -hmm. And so, but we're like almost break even with some of the highest, you know, competitors out there right now. We're a small business. We're doing our best foot forward to create the best product, and so are all of these other small businesses. Uh, and so you get a better bang for your buck. So there yeah. is a reason why people are now they shopping small, small business. business because we are willing to work for the product, give you a better product, faster turnaround, almost hand, almost 10 out of 10 times. And people are starting to realize that. And so mm -hmm. that's why it's such a big explosion, my personal experience. So, it's, so it's worth... It's worth paying for advertising fees on Etsy. There's a lot of fees. There's a lot of things you have to do, but like the market's already there. I mean, your, your audience is already there. Um, Ooh, $500 a day in marketing on Amazon. So we tried the yeesh. Amazon. Here's our gripe with Amazon. And I'll be a hundred percent clear with that. Amazon backs the buyer too much. They're unfair to the seller. You could have people order two inch circle labels and then say, ah, you yeah. know, I ordered the wrong size. And then Amazon will credit them and you pay for that. You have someone who orders a one by two inch circle, one by two inch oval, leaves a one star review, says they're the wrong size with a photo of it placed on their thing. Even though it's a one by two oval, they order the wrong size, Amazon still gives it back. However, we've had items shit home. It's like yeah. we've had items shit that aren't even the right product, like warning labels and stuff, it gets to the customer because Amazon pulled the wrong product that isn't even ours. Wrong product. And uh, we have to cover the and cost of that. So I was gonna yeah. say, cause you said Amazon really backs the customer, right? right? And I was just gonna throw in there, Etsy really backs the store owner. Yeah, Etsy's I'm, on store I'm owner side for you. sure. I'm, if you have it set up correctly, right. and you have your, your listing set up correctly with all the information and how to and all this stuff and you have your thing set like I don't accept cancellations like blah 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 as long as you've got your stuff together and organized um, Etsy is more likely to back the seller than the customer we have had over the past three years that we've been open we've had a handful of cases be opened against us and like almost all of them have been 
Shut it, down. Nope. It's always uh, or like we just say we don't shipping. want to deal with this anymore. We so but shipping, uh, mm -hmm. if it, if you have tracking and you shipped it on time, Etsy will not fault you if the package is lost in shipping, yep. and that's probably one of the most important yep. things. And so we'll say I didn't get yeah. it. Tracking says delivered. Sorry, it's You're, done. you know, and oh. it's closed. And then there, and then there, you know, it's okay. so. Millweb says I do custom or I do uh, monthly custom orders and don't have any real issues. Okay, so Millweb know you know the system very well. Then on Amazon, yeah. I will I will say we do not we do not know Amazon that well. We only did it for a very short time, and it's it's just mainly two maybe three bad incidents and we're like ah, you know we already have etsy we have our main store let's go ahead and find another avenue um for us it was just too much you know at one time i think we're like ah man this is, we're, we're not used to uh amazon uh being on that side of amazon where they just shut you down and something that's like perfectly clear like hey this is on the customer it's not on us uh you know i just kind of got turned off of it um you know. I, going back um philip is in Norway um, and they want to make a website kind of like ours with custom designs etc how did you create your website we have a local company that we paid to put our website together paid a lot for mm -hmm. paid so a lot. we went to a, a company <laughs> to have it do it but so, that's our main one it stays maintained mm -hmm. by them mm -hmm. uh, and taken yeah. care of Aztec labels Sarah and I made that one mm -hmm. um, I so, have my uh, own coming yes, up soon. She has her so own stay coming tuned out. For that, yeah. Uh, but uh, um, yeah. Yuka says use Etsy as a stepping stone. Hey, that's yes. up to you. We uh, yes. will say yes as a stepping stone to grow. Right? We started off on Etsy, and then our business grew, and our business grew, and our business grew. Okay, let's make a website, and our business grew, and our business grew, and so. So it started off as like a hobby and hey, we're gonna do this for fun. And it it, grew we into have an actual first business. videos where we're in the garage, literally. Uh, we're one of, I think there might be another uh, another couple of videos out there, but we, we were one of the only people that have it from our garage to where we are now You can go back to stickers. the very beginning. Uh, and so, and we, we didn't even know it was possible to make some money with YouTube uh, video wise. And so it's kind of cool. He was just doing it for fun. Yeah, just kind of um, show people because I wanted to learn something. I could not find it out on YouTube. Actually, Darren uh, from uh, Time to Make Something had a video and I was watching him. And I remember thinking, and then, oh, and this then is so cool. Dan <laughs> from Just a Printer. Yeah. Oh, we came in, and then it was Dan. Okay. Yeah. I always, like, for Darren and Dan, I have, like, yeah. the hardest time. <laughs> Get it mixed up. Yeah, Dan, Dan yes, is Just Derek a Derek would sit there and watch these videos over and over and over again and watch other people and learn. So, like, he's literally in the same boat as some of you guys that watch our videos oh, to learn to this things. day, I watch like, other printer stuff. People are like, why okay. are you watching a printer print when, when you have a print so shop? We, like, you don't understand. So, we come to work. So, we come yeah. to work. And we print all day and we work all day and we go home and Derek sits down and he puts on YouTube to watch other people print. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> even, even she doesn't get we it. Jump, <laughs> my kids are always like, daddy finger, daddy finger, what do you do? I do research. I do research. Yeah. <laughs> like they, literally they literally sing that. that. that Every that's time. his favorite thing to do is research. If you guys aren't 100%. familiar with the, what, what's the cartoon, the TV show? Oh, the, what, like uh, Coco Melon. Coco Melon. Yeah, Coco Melon. Um, and so they like to. Pink uh, Fong. Like it's all these things. Yeah. So, so they sing it all the time of like, daddy likes to research. And yeah. it's 100% true when he's at home. That's usually what's on TV is other printers other print shops he's learning about a new machine or how to do something or whatever um so he's literally the same as some of you guys that are watching his videos to learn things he's watching other people to learn things and so you can always learn something from someone else something something. no matter how big or small they are uh, uh, he says he mill says he does the same thing yep yeah yeah live love and print i'm gonna make <laughs> you a sticker print. there you oh go oh my gosh live love and print um Corey. Hi, Corey. Uh, I've been on Etsy for a long time and I haven't gotten one sale from it. Uh, yeah, we got to do a video. You, what are you selling on, on there? I'm curious what you're selling. And then Derek and I did make a note that we're going to do another video um, a, that's called Etsy Do's and Don'ts. I'm laughing because your thing looks like Etsy Poos. What? <laughs> Etsy Poos. Oh, yeah. My, my D. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like I a pee. Etsy do's and don'ts. So we're going to put together a video like that. Um, and then um, we're going to kind of come out with like formal like tips and tricks on how to help grow your 
your Etsy. Etsy can be tough, but there's little tricks that we can help teach you to help grow your business. So if you have any specific questions, we'd love to help. Otherwise, follow along, subscribe, like, um, and then you'll get a notification when we post a new video and you'll see when our Etsy one comes up. I know we've done a couple of Etsy ones in the past, so you might right. want to scroll through our older videos, but I don't know how long ago those were and things have changed. I mean, now they've got Star Seller. That's like a completely new thing. Right. Um, Which is pretty tough. I'll tell you guys to hit that Well, it was seller. harder at the beginning. At the beginning, yeah. Because if you, if you got anything less than five stars, like if somebody gave you four stars or whatever, it was like, nope. Yeah, you're not a star seller anymore. It's like, wait a second, that's still good. We had know? a lady who's like, um, oh, can we ask why we didn't receive five stars? There's something we can do to make it better. And she goes, I just never give five stars. Cool. I'm like, all right. Well, all right. I just never so want to work realized, with you again. Yeah, Etsy realized that there's people out there that do this. <laughs> so they dropped it to, and you know, they're far and few between, but uh, Etsy dropped it to like, uh, what is it, 40 or 95%? 4 a 4.8 uh, uh, rate And then star shipping rating. is like 95% that Which you is ship fine. on time. We could always ship on time, no problem. And then there's the conversation response rate. rate. Yeah. I think, I can't remember, <sighs> it's like two days, but now no, auto messages. It's, no. it's not two days. No, it's, 20, it's within 24 hours. You have to reply. Oh, 24 hours? Yes. Oh, man. Okay. Or you have to have an automatic reply set up to respond. However, you can't have an automatic reply set up all the time or else it says, hey, do you want to go on vacation mode? Because you're obviously not available. Right. Again, that's like a whole, Star Seller is like a whole nother. Oh, Mel Webb said he got his last month. Nice. Congratulations, hey, man. Hey, congr uh, that's a huge deal. Congratulations. 100 across, across the, the board. board. Good cool. for you. We have a hard time getting 100 across the board. We're like 99, 199 or 100, 99, 100, 100 or something like that. But our big thing is the shipping on time. And here's the reason why. People are very hard to get a hold of. It's and so, sent to us. so you send them a design or you send them a proof and then they don't get back to you or they respond to you in three days and then they want to make changes and like it becomes this whole thing. And even if I postpone their ship date out, the maximum I can go. Days. Plus one. You know, I'm waiting for them to approve. They paid a design fee or whatever. I'm waiting for them to approve. It's like, so, so what I've kind of done now is I, I literally, when I send them a message with their proof, I literally put, if I don't hear from you in three days, I'm printing the proof I've supplied. Right. Done. I can't wait for you forever. You know what I mean? And so that's, that's part of the issue why we've had so many issues getting a hundred across the board is because sometimes customers place an order and then they just disappear. We're like, Tyler says, where did you buy your laminator? Hey, once again, thank you for supporting our channel and clicking the join button. Um, so we got it from a company that buys from overseas. It's a tool lots, T O O L O T S dot com. Uh, I actually saw one that is 36 inches wide that I thought was freaking cool. And then a, uh, 650 millimeter. I think that's like what? 25, 26 inches. So that is something that I want to look at for doing, um, like the, the smaller cut rolls. Uh, but, uh, they're about, God, I think I paid like 2600 for mine. I can't remember. 2500 That was a while ago. Yeah, that was a while yeah. ago. Now you can get it right from uh, like Alibaba for I think $1,000. Shipping's probably, uh, you know, 1000 bucks or two grand. Um, mm -hmm. If you ship multiple them, you can get them for a discount. I think I might be shipping at least one more over because we need a second laminator. Uh, just in no, case anything like, happens. I don't know if you guys have seen yeah. the shop lately, but we're getting, Doubling pretty, up on we're getting pretty tight in here. Yeah. We need that. We need to open up that uh, that other room or so, uh, expand into the the warehouse. There's another company renting that back which we've talked right about now. doing, but, uh, um, breaking down this wall and just right. even put, moving it out. Or what Extending we've also talked one. about is making that our office space in there, and this is like our print. Show. We don't know uh, what we're gonna do. We yet, have some equipment in there that kind of wow. takes up a lot of the space as well as material storage. Uh, but uh, yeah, we got we got to figure that out. Mm -hmm. It's nice in here though because it's all AC. Yeah, um, it's really nice. Let's see. Can um, we get a light? Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, so I, like I saw yeah, that there's up. there's 27 people watching right now. 27 people watching, and we only have oh now we got 15. It just yeah. Went up. Thank you. So if you can if you can like this Click video, um, it just helps promote it so that other people will see it too. Um, it really helps our channel out. Um, and thank you. If, if you, you don't subscribe yet, please a subscribe. Late order and have them reorder. Uh, reply, you won't get disabled for a later. Oh, okay. 
I know, but, but here's the we thing, we've already the done the work. work. Yeah. So so that's another reason why, too, I have them pay for design work up front. And yeah. then I give them a notice, hey, if I don't hear from you in three days, Because they get like, three proofs. So they get. send us something, we can edit it back and forth three times. Yeah. It's between, that's, yeah. We've, had, we've kind of learned from our mistakes um, where we we do the work and we're waiting and we're all this stuff and, and it's just kind of like it, it just becomes like such a nightmare sometimes but that's why we have them pay up front and we let them we let exp we set expectations so if you were to look at like my design listing I have like one two three how to order what what to do what the steps are and I believe in there I literally state if we do not hear back from you we're gonna print yeah um Roy non refundable says. these are non refundable so even if like I had a business card person, oh, grape. I had a business card lady. <laughs> oh, oh, grape lady. So I made a web page. I don't know if I should say the web page. No, don't say no, it. No, okay. But but I had this customer who purchased a design fee from us. Don't give too much detail. Nope. Yeah, it just it was, actually let's it just was, skip it. It was no no no. Yeah, I'm just yeah. using it as an example. Okay. But but it was but she, it was very complex, and I did everything she asked, but it still wasn't quite what she wanted, and she wanted to make more changes and all that. And it ended up being anyways. I explained to her, yes, design fees are non-refundable. You're paying for our time to do this for you. I've technically designed something for you. Yes, they're non-refundable. You know, so your time matters. If you design something for somebody and you're doing what they want and all that stuff, make sure that you give an expectation ahead of time of like, hey, I'm going to do this many revisions for you. So I need you to be as specific as possible so I can do this for you. And just know that your time is valuable. It takes time to design things. You do not have to feel pressured in refunding a design fee if you've done everything they've asked. Yeah, we cancel. Uh, we, I mean, we don't cancel anymore. We just go ahead and close out the order and mm -hmm. and be done with it because people will keep asking. I refunded the the printed portion because yeah. uh, I hadn't we didn't printed print. anything, but I kept design the fee. design fee because I technically and Etsy done will honor free. that. Yeah, Etsy won't penalize absolutely, you for absolutely. it. Absolutely. Um, okay, so uh, uh, I forgot who I was going to read. Roy, yeah. Any suggestions on which printer to choose? So the only ones I can mm. suggest, I don't talk about things that I don't know, is going to be the HP Latex or the, um, oh, is that John? Nobody came up to the door, right? No. No, okay. Um, HP Latex, uh, which we had, or the Roland, I'd say if you don't have a lot of production, you're just starting out, the HP Latex is probably a that really good way to go. That great for us, yeah. Um, and then, you know, kind of move on to the rolling. We're going to be looking at uh, another type of technology as well. So, and then um, for labels, the Epson. The Epson, yeah. Epson's a really good one to get started with the uh, labels. Uh, I will say, if you're trying to copy, you know, kind of like the whole thing that we did with the stickers, it is very, very saturated. I can't tell you how many people are looking to sell their label printers. So maybe pick one up used. Here And um, here's the other thing, but, too. Like, we kind of touched on it earlier. Material is really hard to get right really now right and now, really yeah. expensive. I mean... We've watched vinyl go from $90 a roll for 150 feet all the way up to $170. Yeah. And and so it's getting more and more expensive for material, especially like paper and stuff like that is really hard to get. So that's part of the reason too why we've been really pushing this whole, hey, we've got the machine, we've got the material, we've got the end with these companies that are producing material, we've got all this stuff. If you want to sell stickers, let us be your your behind the scenes company and resell right. or and re re resell for resell. you. Yeah. So yeah. the thing is we print for a lot of people stickers who actually have the equipment mm -hmm. because we can produce we we have the uh, material manufactured specifically for us from the mill and then we do some production in the back so we can get a better pricing for a higher quality product. Mm -hmm. So we do it for a lot of people who are just like, "Wow, I, I can't get the material, especially when it comes to labels." Um, but you know, just, you know, be warned if you're trying to do exactly what we did, the results probably aren't going to be that great just because of one saturation and two, the material shortage is crazy. So I only say that Literally because I've had a couple of people get really mad and message me and say, I just bought, you know, 40 grand worth of material, uh, worth of, uh, uh, equipment and material. And thanks to you your video. Yeah. Thanks to your video. And I can't sell anything, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so yeah. it's like, oh, I'm sorry, man. Like the work still has to be done. You know, it's, it's not just going to matter. Well, and two part of that is, is if you go out and you purchase a machine, you need to do the footwork to right. find your 
suppliers. Yeah, and uh, the sales. Don't don't think that you can use the same people we use because I'm telling you, a lot of places aren't taking any more customers yeah. right now. I'd say 90% of the uh, people who sell labels mm -hmm. stock, they're mm -hmm. not even allowing you on a list, and that's been going on for a he year. He knows, because he was calling people yeah. when we first got ours trying to get, and they were like, no, Hundreds no, of thousands no. of dollars putting so, this equipment on the floor, and I can't get material yeah. stock, except for the couple connections that I already had from, you know, buying direct for the uh, uh, Finias and Epson label printers. Mm -hmm. So I'm so thankful I got those when I did, because it allowed me to continue purchasing but uh, yeah, it's it's extremely scary out there right now. K12 Clothing. We'll be printing coffee labels on our Epson C6500. Nice. Any recommendations on matte versus glossy labels? We always just did glossy. That's the main market. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, most people are okay with that for those uh, smaller end machines. Mm -hmm. They're not going to be extremely picky. Uh, your, your main market is, you know... Um, 250 to 500 maybe a thousand labels and then group them all together and run you know five ten thousand labels i overnight. will say my personal favorite is the matte finish i just yeah. love the way it feels but Granted, I, don't, I don't know about that yeah, version but like laminate. but just the matte in general it it's it's such a smooth and attractive well, it's finish. because you can't get it on those machines but for general so labels different. gloss is the way to go and gloss is going to be cheaper usually right. um more photo and quality. depending on depending on what if you're using it for for just packaging, you might not even Ooh, have to have Mel Web says 110% increases on banner material. I'm just saying. Man. Yeah. We've seen nuts. it. It's hard. Yeah. Um, Ouch. It's very hard. I have an Epson um, 7500G, but it doesn't... Uh, it's not consistent with full, full solid color backgrounds. I get asked a lot about the lines. Epson 7500, and I don't know uh, too much about it. We almost got it. It's a uh, brand new machine. But because the 7500 is like the Phineas, where it's Memjet, if a nozzle goes out, you'll be able to see it if you're printing solid color. So it's not really the best machine to get for solid colors. It's more a uh, good machine for a lot of white space or mix of colors uh, because you can't tell when that one nozzle is out. Um, is what I'm getting or gathering from the 7500 because we get a lot of people asking about it, giving us mm -hmm. feedback, asking, hey, can we sell this? Can we sell that? I don't sell other people's product, but if you want to post it in the Discord and somebody buys it, that, that's a plus. Yeah, and again, if you, for whatever reason, people can't find the Discord when they search for it, if you would like for us to send you the link or invite you, just email Derek at Derek at printshoptalk.com and he will get back to you with the link into Discord. So. Yep. Oh my God, Blippi. Don't forget Blippi. What about Blippi? Blippi. Oh, the, the kid show. Oh, the kid, kid show. show. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I know. So, somebody was telling me about a show from uh, Hawaii. I forgot. Oh my gosh. It was just, it was hilarious. They were spot on. on. Repeat. Somebody else yeah. said that they were on um, Caillou and another one and I just, yeah. It's on constant repeat. Okay, so let me put it this way. When we're at home, the TV is either playing Coco Melon or it's playing printing videos. Yeah, one of the two. Every once in a while, I get the TV and it plays something paranormal. Yeah. But for the most part, it's Coco Melon. Yeah, it's probably Coco Melon. <laughs> or a new majority. printer. Like. <laughs> yeah. I'm always looking at the technology, the new stuff. I'm always looking at the technology. Uh, no. Let's see. I do custom stickers and uh, pin book. Oh, pin back buttons. That's oh, awesome. that's cool. Yeah, cool. The pin back. There's uh, one guy on our Discord that is like really big on the uh, the pin back buttons. It's really cool to see the setup. Pin um, pin back is buttons. What is that? The the flyer. Oh, oh, like flare. the the little yeah the uh, what is uh, his uh, uh, web page like? I make flare or something like that. He's really really cool. He's got a nice setup. That's awesome. Um, but uh, I don't even know how you make those, so yeah. I guess I guess we're probably gonna oh, watch a what? tutorial Here. on it later. Uh, <laughs> Yes, I have Derek, Derek, we'll be watching this when we go home. How to make buttons, no, just my, so we know. You know. So if you guys don't know the channel, Mike the Print Man, uh, he he uh, um, works with us a lot, and so he made these for us for when we go to the little uh, which he never print went show. to, which I never went to. <laughs> but these are uh, made by Mike the Print Man. So if you haven't seen his channel, go check it out. Yeah, Bluey too. Um, Bluey's on repeat at my house as well. I like Bluey though; it's got adult humor in it, so I yeah, I appreciate. Yeah. I don't mind Bluey at all. I'll sit there and watch it. Um, man, thanks for being a member. Huge, uh, huge shout how out. How much you. cheaper to print labels than Kiss Cut stickers in terms of percentage? Ooh. So, uh, labels start at fifty bucks, um, and then it 
becomes drastically more efficient than uh, stickers. Stickers are good for, you know, um, if it needs to be durable or outdoor, water, uh, water resistant mm -hmm. uh, for long term. Labels are going to be more for products, so it really depends. But I mean, we have companies that will buy, you know, 10, 20, 50, 200 dollars. You know what labels, though? Didn't, stickers, you stick, I mean. didn't you stick a label outside over here so it would be in the weather? Yes. And it held up pretty good. The, the toner holds up no problem. It's the uh, BOP laminate. So you want to use a polyester laminate if you're making stickers on the uh, label press. Oh, uh, print cost. The print, print cost. cost. Yeah, oh, uh, print cost. Oh, um, I think it depends on your material and where you get your material on. Yeah, I would, it's, it's definitely, um, it's definitely less in the long, uh, runs for, uh, label material, but in the short runs, uh, you know, the stickers are better. You know, they're, two total, they're two totally different products. So it's really hard to yeah. say, like, yeah, because you I get, get you get 150 pure, foot. If you're versus... just doing like pure material to material, label material is way less, hands down. If you're uh, just if starting inkjet, out a printing business, not... uh, la it, like if yeah. we were, I think Derek's done a video on this. Like if we were to start over, like today, knowing what we know, we would have started off with labels. Yeah, because it's more um, profit margins higher. Uh, the materials a lot. You easier don't have to, to buy, buy a twenty thousand yeah. dollar machine to get going. Right, you can, you buy, can buy, buy the little C sixty five hundred, you know, and then produce that. Uh, now, I mean, labels escalates pretty quick. You, know, you can drop a half a million on your floor very fast and be like, oh my God. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and the, the material, if it's not inkjet material, it's just pure flexo mm -hmm. stock is way, way less than vinyl. It, hopefully that helps. No. Uh, is gonna rub it in. Okay. Oh man, he went to the label, label so. expo was fantastic. I wish I didn't. I wish. I wish. Cool to see new HP Indigo, seventeen tons and fifty feet long. Good lord. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the HP Indigos, they're beautiful machines. They produce extremely cool. Uh, um, I haven't uh, even heard label of it. Stock. But I'm not watching they're, the they're videos. He is. <laughs> I, I think they start at like half, uh, not have one and a half million dollars to be on the floor, and that's no finisher. So they're they're expensive. Jesus. Um, I know. One day. One day. Their their operation cost is really high though, uh, so that's the downside. You well, got to be making really really good connections <laughs> for for you know buyers and and things. Uh, I just I would want to have a lot of extra pocketbook money. Uh, just Noah, we're, we're glad you got to go to that. Um, we're hoping to get Derek out to the Print Expo next month in Las Vegas. So if anybody, I see 31 people are watching. If anybody's going, let yep. us know. Comment um, down below. Derek will be there. I probably won't. I'll probably I'll be try. with the kids. Uh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to really try to get you there. Um, what time is it? And... Um, and anyways, so we're going to try to get Derek there for that. And if you're going, he'd love to meet up with you guys. And we've talked about, you know, meeting up for dinner or whatever with a bunch of people and just kind of like meeting you guys, um, putting so, a face to the name, you know. If you're there, name. shoot me an email at Derek at PrintShopTalk.com. Osmond says he'll be uh, there. Cool. Okay. All right, yeah. So there's one person. One so person, yeah. there you go. I know two other people are thinking about going. So. Uh -huh. But, um, all right, well, I think we covered a lot of stuff. Uh, I do have to get going and go do some deliveries here. Uh, I should probably but, uh, start working. Yeah, you should probably start working. I've been, get to it. I'm nah. literally, <laughs> like, just sitting back here, but, like, uh, to chatting. Right, but guys. we've really enjoyed doing this. Um, keep your eye out for future Focus Friday. I think we're going to try to make this a thing where we sit and talk to you guys about what's going on with us and then in the print community and all that stuff every Friday. Uh, make sure that you like and subscribe to be notified of when we go live and when we post new videos. And I guess we'll see you guys on the next Catch one. You later. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Hope you have a great day.